that you can really look into and decide whether or not it's the type of topic for you and what you would like to do when you're older. I thought it would be really fascinating to learn about science. This is why we come here. So I just did my GCSEs and I really enjoyed like learning about all different types of science and I find it really interesting how there's like so many different types of research. Well you can see the amount of people in the building. I think it's really important to show what we do here and all the opportunities there are to learn things in the building. I think Open Day is uh, indeed very important because a lot of our research is funded by taxpayers. So I think it's crucial to engage the public and show them what we do. We're called the Medical Research Council. We're funded by them and I think it's important that people see what we're doing. I think it's important to show our work. Sometimes we work on, the, on this every day but we don't realize how important this is for people outside our institute. And that's why it's important to have activities that cover not only a lot of the different topics that we do, but also we have very young children, we have adults, and it's important to convey science at different levels. I'm in my 70s, but I'm still fascinated by the world. Very good, interesting topics today. That is what the role of Cambridge does. It's a role of academia, not only to educate us, but also to keep us as minds of the future. What is our role in shaping medicine, electronics, or the industrial landscape, and I think that's what we are trying to do here. So actually we, we get some very insightful questions and sometimes kids ask you why don't you try this or why don't you try that and, and we tell them actually yeah this is what we do in the next step so if you continue you will see that this is the next step in the process. Until now I've looked at my cells and did this which is a virus. Here we distracted blue from a black looking dye and blue likes water molecules more than red. And I was playing the reaction time game and they said that if you come back in a couple hours apparently you'll be doing better because your body clock will be at a later point so I'm looking forward to going back and seeing if I can beat my like score on the games. The demonstrations here with the magnets are absolutely fascinating and it's amazing what you can see with just the simplest components. The Open Day is a wonderful idea because it gives people an opportunity to see so many things which you might just kind of have in the periphery of your experience. I like the microscopes because you could zoom in, zoom out, do everything that you can't do at home. When you turn the microscope, it makes the cells 600 times bigger. They're actually still quite small. So it's actually quite amazing how small your cells really are. I really liked the microscope, three meters tall. Of it. You don't see machines that tall every day. <laughs> My favorite part of today was probably seeing the talks in the lecture theater because I learned many new things. The people giving it were very knowledgeable and were able to explain clearly, make it accessible for people whose knowledge might not be as deep as theirs. It's really interesting seeing like where the mice were kept and how they were maintained for the experiments. Today we are just showing people uh, how to set up a cage. We are getting them to put in all the enrichment and food and into the cages and we are getting them to name the mice. So this one we've got Snowball and Biscuit. We've had generally, I'd say, very positive questions. People just interested about what we're doing. I've done lots of activities, including the motor, where I made a motor out of pom-poms. This is what it looks like. I think it's just really important, though, to really be open about what we do. We get a lot of different questions. Some of them are questions that I haven't really thought about before. It's not a one-way thing. The public uh, gets to know what we do, but we also think about what we do in a different light. I think a lot of people see this big white glass building and have no idea what's going on, and it's important to show what scientists are trying to achieve. Also, it makes you realize sometimes you're focused on a very specific problem, but when people come from a much broader background, they make you think about your problems in a different way, so they give you a different perspective. It's really going to make people interested in science because there's lots of fun activities, so people will be wanting to come back and learn more. So yeah, I think people will be inspired. This event has definitely inspired me. That's what motivates us, and when we see the young children come in, who are going to be the future of tomorrow, learning from us, from our professors to us, the researchers, I think we are playing it forward. And that's very interesting as we look at that for the future. I loved every second of being here. 